happy to be anywhere. They are both cancer survivors, and their fight against cancer led them both to the same conclusion. Their diet was part of the problem. But I ate a lot of junk food fried food, fast food. These days, Emily and Robert eat a raw food diet. That means no meat, no fish, no dairy, and nothing is cooked. You feel more energy, you feel more alive, you feel healthy, you don't get sick. Like now that. they are taking that message into Bay Area schools. It gives you really good skin, it gives you really strong muscles, it gives you, it has you grow bigger. <laughs> They bring samples for the students to try, everything from crackers and nuts to desserts. Actually, I was surprised that it was really tasty. Nobody was really like in, into it until we got to taste the food and everyone really liked it. It was uh, pretty tasty and I enjoyed it. The Angels say they're not trying to turn the students into raw food fans. Instead, they're trying to plant a seed to let the students know there are alternatives to fast food and pizza. Schools like Lowell are also trying to help by removing junk food from vending machines. With so many children overweight or obese, even small steps like these are important. A salad a day makes all the difference. And it's not just children who can benefit from eating more fresh fruits and vegetables. With more and more adults overweight or even obese, it's clear that those foods need to be a bigger part of our national diet. We really have got to think about that more and more, don't we?